We're here at ISE 2024. Last year, sustainability was one of the big topics. Um, for example, Samsung had it front and center at its booth. Um, this year, Daniel, um, it seems a bit less. It's still there. Um, you see sustainability, um, but it seems to be less of an important topic. What's your impression? I think you're right. Um, but it also, it's more under the surface. If you look, you need to step into the booth that was not so prominent uh, as it was last year. Uh, but you also see, uh, I think, a division of players, as in particularly when it comes to hardware, where, where some uh, companies really do an earnest uh, attempt in order to improve constantly and also drive product innovation. If you just look at the QE uh, product range from PPDS or if you look at the Sharp NEC, so they drive continuously uh, the product innovation. But then you have on the other side the corporate topic, like the big Samsungs and Sonys, they have it in their corporate agenda. So this more or less, I think, is the focus this year in the big players. But additionally, I, I'm very happy to see that software is coming on board. Uh, so uh, last year we only talked about hardware. Now this year we're talking about software. We're talking about broad sign and being part of the Green Sign, uh, Green Software Foundation. And we see that other companies really think how can they contribute within the software field in order to become more sustainable. So could you could you say last year it was more of a marketing topic, whereas this year I mean, we see real products and real advancements. I think. Uh, I've been around for a long time and sustainability has been a marketing topic for more than 20 years, not only last year, but I think last year was really much dominated by the energy crisis uh, the winter before. So people uh, and companies picked it up as the most eminent topic for them to solve. But I think that the work has not started last year. The work has started much uh, earlier. And now what we see, uh, not bigger steps, but smaller steps into the right direction. What I still am missing is the dialogue between the different parts of the value chain, where they then can see how we can improve together, not just uh, for ourselves in our uh, microscope, but also throughout the entire value chain. Yeah, yes, we, I would like to see. We had, we had a discussion uh, yesterday on, on the panel um, on, at our conference uh, with uh, Econocom and, and PPS are talking about lifecycle management. And that the main point was um, it's, it's really about bringing everything together in the value chain and, and, and the complete life cycle. And what I've listened to that I think some of the players have started to, to, uh, to talk to each other, but it's more a slower process. And I think it has to be, I think uh, the industry would gain of talking uh, about this subject with one voice, not with separate smaller voice, one bigger voice. And I hope that we can see this in the years to come. Okay, hey, thank you very much. It is an important topic and it will be an important topic for the future. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you.